What time are people getting here today? Then I go to my brother and I say, brother, help me, please. Then he winds up knocking me. Knocking me down on my knees. Oh, there were times when I thought I wouldn't last for long. But now I know I'm able to carry on. It's been a long a long time coming, but I know a change going to come. Oh, yes, it will. I'm glad you're gone. 45, out the door. I'm glad. Well, I'm glad you said that. Because with all the negatives that he brought, he brought us together as well. He made a lot of positive for us. He helped, He brought us to unity. He brought, he brought us a lot of empty baggage, and it is stuff that we can't to deal with now. Yeah, but it, it helped us come together. And that's the only way we're gonna change things, is coming together. We have to do it in unison, as, as a force. It makes more force. That's why if, if you poke somebody with your finger, it's less uh, strength than with your fist. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> do it together. I Bring mean, all of them together instead of just one. Yeah. It's yeah. unity. We work in unity, we do more. We get more done. It, it helps us in the long run. I guess I'm depressed with all this pandemic stuff. But... But you know, we did come together strongly with this vote. You know, vote. the Grace family, right on the steps of the church, we were all together, you know, showing the importance of it. And that's how we hope to I just hope it's just not short lived, you know? Yeah. It's just time. Yeah. That's how we got them out. The yeah. vote. We came together and did the vote. It was a big deal. Yes, it, it, was. Really, it really was good for us. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. 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 h
late. Yeah. I was trying to get ready for this 90s Zoom party. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, oh, God. God. You just oh, had to sing singing. Five Baby yes. Sanger was throwing yes. it up. Yes, he okay. was. So you came in with a dance step. Okay. Okay. Speaking of good times and, you know, what's going on? I know we're all gathered here for the Easter play. So has anybody seen a script? Listen, I'm still waiting for my script from last year. Oh, okay. I'm excited to see y'all. I don't know what we're going to be doing here. It ain't, it ain't like people going to show up, you know, after this play. What's going to happen? I don't know how we're going to do it. Is it just us? Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? Hey, what's up, brothers? What's up? Hey, 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 what's
the Zoom call ended. Ooh. Y'all want to say thank you, George. I'm so happy. Uh, say what's up. Okay. Right. Well, you want to do it? 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 Always on time. You should have told him that you knew who Jesus was, that Jesus is awkward. That's what you should have told me. <laughs> right, right, right. I don't, I don't think right. that was going to fly. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, you know, you know what, though? On the, on the real, though? Uh, Greg, why don't you go get mine? Oh, my uh, God. Uh, yeah, we look at you. Yeah, we look at you. 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 I think I know what this is about. I hope I don't disappoint y'all. Mm. I know y'all ain't call me out here talking about me being in no more play. Oh, 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 but no, they came and got you because today, um, Rev, real quick to the point, following a Zoom call with my students' parents, a uh, discussion, rather a debate, mm. an argument broke okay. out about who Jesus was. And all the parents was arguing and talking and everybody was chiming in on who they thought Jesus was to them. And then they turned around and asked me what I thought. Mm. But then when I was about to answer, oh my mm. what does that mean? Oh my Lord. <laughs> when red, I was about to answer, shit. like I was saying, <laughs> the Zoom call ended. Mm. And I was relieved. I can honestly say I was relieved. I'm being honest. That's the scary part. No. We always want to tell folks about yeah. who Jesus Absolutely. Is. Yeah. It's not that, Rev. It's just that I was just taken aback by the situation. I wasn't expecting it to be because it wasn't a, a my dance sister's CI call or a yam fam or Bible okay. study. So it was in this predicament, you know, was different. So it just oh, caught me off guard. Baby, that was all. Our Jesus got to go outside the church. Amen. Yeah. 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 So that's yeah. right. So let me ask you this time why y'all got me out here. <laughs> Who is Jesus to you? Mm-hmm. Who is he? Here it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jesus is my everything. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I don't know if this is the right answer or not, Rev, but I guess if I had to say one thing, I guess I would say Jesus was my deliverer. Mm. Mm. Okay. You know? I mean, I've been through some situations. You know what I'm saying? You know that. I know that's right. Okay. It's between us. Okay. Come for the challenge. All right. Put your business out there. <laughs> okay. I don't right. have to cut you. Okay. All right. That would be another situation. No, but I've been through some situations, and, you know, I can honestly say, it was sometime through to my own fault why I didn't see a way out. Okay. But hallelujah, won't he do it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. you I was know. always, Jesus always delivered me. Okay. You know, kind of like that woman in the Bible that the Pharisees wanted to stop. Mm. Amen. I know her. I know her. Yeah. Be good friends. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> you don't know. No. Oh, no, man. Man. Okay. Bible study. <laughs> okay, let him know, Rev. Bible yeah, study. Yeah, okay. yeah. Tell your story. Church the story. Gospel of John. You know, pass the first stone. Mm-hmm. Anyway, let me tell you guys the story. Okay. So there was this woman in the Bible, and um, not unlike most women, you know, she wanted to live a good life. She wanted to be loved. She wanted companionship. But she found herself in a lot of situations where she was disappointed, mm-hmm. hurt, mm-hmm. even abused. Yeah. You don't know what I've been through. Get out of my house. Oh, 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 please, please have mercy on me. You don't know what I've been through. What you've been through? We know what you've been through. 
You've been through quite a few of the men in this town. That's what you've been through. No. You're not decent enough to be around these fine citizens. No, no. That's not true. That's not true. You have no idea how I suffered. As, as the only girl of a family of, of five brothers, my, my father forced me to be sold to the, to the highest bidder before even my first blood. I mean, I was, I was a child. I mean, I didn't know what was expected of me. How, how could I? How could I know? And my, my husband, he, he's a, he's a brute. I mean, all I've ever known from my wedding day until today is his fist and his kicks and humiliation. You don't know. You don't know what I've been through. I mean, if the food wasn't cooked or prepared to perfection exactly the way he liked it, he smacked me. If I didn't adhere to his advances, he kicked me and beat me. All I was to him was good for his sexual release. All I know is humiliation. They say you know by your marital status, but he didn't love me. He didn't treat me with no, no compassion, no love, no tenderness, nothing. I was just there to serve him. You don't know what I've been through. I thought, I thought he hated me. I thought he hated me. But he only, he loved taking his frustration out on me. That's what he loved doing. All I've ever known was his abuse. That's all I've ever known. <laughs> and I dare not fight back if I wanted to live. I couldn't fight back. I was scared. I didn't have nobody to turn to. I was scared. So please, please, and my neighbor Micah, he saw, he saw it all, he heard it all, I thought he was there to ease my pain. Because it's for the Pharisees to enforce our laws. We're telling the Pharisees. No, please don't. Please don't. Please. Oh. Ah, the sinner, the breaker of the law. You know what our law says about people like you. You know how God feels about you. <laughs> I, I know, I know what the the law that God gave Moses says, but I, I I hear that there's there's a man that that teaches compassion and love with within the law. Ah, so you are teaching us now? No, 
You must have us confused with him. We know who you are talking about. <laughs> we take the word of God seriously. We will take you to him and let him decide your fate. For if he does not agree to have you stoned according to the law, he will be proven a false prophet. <laughs> but if he wants to continue fooling the people, he must agree to have you stoned. <laughs> and you, my dear sinner, <laughs> will be stoned. Let's take her down. No, please. Please, no. Please, no, please. No. Please. Uh, teacher, we're just looking for you. <laughs> this woman was this caught in the act of adultery. <laughs> the law of Moses, the law that you always preach about, says she should be stoned to death. What do you say, oh teacher of the law? Teacher, did you not hear? What do you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What are you writing on the ground? You have no answer? You have no answer because now we finally got you. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Let the one without sin cast the first stone. Come on a minute now. Deal with them later. Woman, where are they? Did no one condemn you? No one, sir. Then neither do I condemn you. Go your way. But as you do, practice sin no more. Teacher, I'm sorry, but why, why did you not agree to have me condemned and, and stoned under the law? Those men's intent it's not the law of God. God can read our minds, our thoughts, and the intentions of our hearts. Their intentions were full of evil and hatred. In you, God is not seeing someone who is evil, just lost. He's not looking to push you down, but only to pull you up. Our God is not looking to condemn you but only find ways to forgive you. He will never look to destroy you. Only and always find ways to save you. Thank you. Thank you so much, teacher. You are, you are truly, you are truly a deliverer. Thank you. Yes, but I am so much more than just a deliverer. He, he, he told me to go my way and, and practice sin no more. I mean, he, he didn't say sin no more because, I mean, we, we all sin. All of us. None of us are perfect. We all fall short of, of, of God's glory. But he said, practice sin no more. I mean, we're all going to make mistakes. We're going to fall short, but, but God, he, he sees our heart, which is our, our human weakness. But he said, don't practice sin anymore. I mean, when we practice this, when we do evil and, 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 and bad, and, and take advantage of, of God's mercy, like the, like the Pharisee does. You know, they do evil and bad on, on purpose. And they blame it in, on following God's word. That's not God's word. 
God's word is all about love, and compassion, and mercy. I understand now. I, I truly do. I feel like I'm, I'm a new, have a different perspective of life. Jesus truly is a great teacher. He's my deliverer. I'm so happy. I know what I, I know what I have to do now. Things are going to be different from now on. I know what I have to do. I have to find this Jesus. I want to know more. So that's why I chose her to identify with who Jesus is to me. You know, people in the past have tried to uh, get me to believe that I wasn't worth being delivered. But Jesus, see, he had other plans. See, it ain't my plan. It ain't your plan. It's God's plan. You see, I sound good, right? Sort of like these passes three-point sermons. I, I, I mean, I like the sound of that. What you think? Pastor Mike is good. I mean, it sounds good to me. So, so I appreciate that. And I can see how you could show, chose her considering your life. But when we think about this story, there's a couple of things that really stand out. Number one, we have to understand that the sister lived in a patriarchic society. And Jesus understood that when they first brought the woman to him, that something was wrong. Because they came to him saying, this woman is guilty of adultery. Mm -hmm. And there was no one there to say that they, that they had been with the woman. So he knew that they was trying to set him up. But he also understood that the woman had a valid point. Mm -hmm. That her life had been disarrayed, that she had been marginalized, she'd been undervalued. And so Jesus understood and knew her heart. And so what he said to her, and he said to all of us, and this is the most important part of this story, is that Jesus asked them to check themselves. Because wow. when he said to them, and the, 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 the Bible says that he was scribbling on the ground, and he might have been writing the times and dates that he saw one of them, the men coming from our place, but we don't know what he wrote on the ground. But he said to them, the, the one who has not sinned you cast the first stone. Uh -huh. So it gives us all an occasion to check out our own selves before we begin to look at somebody else's situation. Right. Because the Bible teaches us that regardless of how holy we think we are, mm -hmm. we still fall short That's of the That's glory it. of God. But thank God that we got Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. He understands us, loves us, and is there to forgive us and help us get our lives in order. Yes, that's, that's what's going on with that. Yeah. I never, I never yeah. was an adulterer, but I can definitely understand you know, being in situations where you find yourself where you just need God's help to oh, be delivered, yeah. you know? Amen. Yeah. Well, yeah. listen, that's, that's the other thing. Jesus taught us that, you know, the world will beat you down. Wow. The world will rob you of your joy and of your peace. Cool. And he said, the world didn't give it to you. Don't let the world take, take it away. away. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. People yeah. can always yeah. marginalize yeah. another yeah. people and make themselves right. feel better. Yeah. But in the eyes of God, we're all good. Because we're his children. I'm yeah, while well, I got you all out here. So, Antoine, uh, how, you know, who's Jesus to you, my brother? Don't be turning away, bro. Come on over here. Healer, healer, healer. All right, all right, all right. Healer, healer, healer. Come on, sing it along, children of God. Healer, healer, healer. 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 Healer, all right. Yes. All right. Jesus has been in the healing business for a long time. Yes. 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 A long time. He, Jesus and healing go back like like How long? like uh like Mizell and, and hair. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Boy, I got jokes. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm trying to fish in this. <laughs> anyway, since since we use the character, since we use the character to guide us along. Oh, man, I want to tell you about a story about a man who was healed by Jesus. Mm -hmm. All right. And when the Pharisees threatened him, he clowned him. Mm -hmm. Clowned him, straight up clowned him. What was this dude's name? Yeah. Well, they didn't say his name in the Bible, but today we're going to call him Antonius. Mm -hmm. no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, check him out. That wow. would be his name. Okay. My brother's so humble. Yeah. 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 Listen, say, now, it, say it with yeah, you. Antonius. Antonius. That's Hebrew for Antoine. 
Okay. 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 So look, Peter and Jesus, they was walking out of the Can I tell my story? Can I tell my story? You know, ask me the question. I want to tell the story. So Jesus and Peter, they're walking around town one day and they see this blind man, right? And so Peter asked Jesus, who sinned? The blind man or his parents? And Jesus says, neither of them sinned. Neither the parents or the blind man. But this is happening so that the works of God can be displayed in him. Right? And so Jesus, he took some clay, some mud, and some spit. He put it all together, which is really nasty. Yeah, man. <laughs> and he put it in the man's eyes and told him to go wash in the, in the pool of the shalom. Okay? No. He was healed after that. Mm-hmm. Healed. Mm-hmm. Parents, neighbors, friends, nearby people, they were amazed. But they feared what the Pharisees might do. Mm-hmm. And so they took him to the Pharisees. But he ain't showing no fear. Mm-hmm. And he lifted his saber up. Never 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 Because he healed you on the Sabbath. But how can he be a sinner if he's performed such signs? He healed. Out of your own mouth, you said it. What do you say about him? It is your eyes he opened. He is a prophet. Prophet. I don't believe you were born blind. I think you're in a scheme with this man. Come here, man who was blind but can now see. Yeah. Why don't you give glory to God by telling the truth? That man is a sinner. I was blind. I was blind. I used to beg and and sing for food. Listen, whether he's a sinner or not, I know one thing. I was blind. And now I can see. And I see that y'all is jealous of Jesus. Ah, you, you can't even handle what he's doing. You can't handle it. Can't handle it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? I told you this already. Why do you want to hear it again? Oh. Oh. Y'all trying to be some disciples. Ah, so you are oh. a disciple. We are disciples of Moses. Whom God spoke to. And this this Jesus, we don't even know where he's from. You don't know where he's from, yet he opened my eyes. God doesn't see sinners. He sees those who are godly and those who can do his will. Ain't nobody ever heard of somebody opening the eyes of a man who was born blind? Uh, No. You were born blind. Are you lecturing us? Tell us what we want. What do you want? We want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Give him a minute, Dad. Give him a minute. You'll never be the truth. Jesus. Do you believe in the Son of Man? Who is he that I may believe? You have seen him. For it is I who am speaking to you. For judgment, I have come into this world so that the blind can see. And those who see become blind. You know who he's talking about, though. Are you saying that we're blind? If you are blind, then you are not guilty of sin. But you say you see, so your guilt remains. Come on, another time, another time, Ken. You are truly a healer. Yes, I am a healer, but I am so much more than that. There's still so much more for you to learn, and I'm excited for that. Come, let us walk. And this time, instead of singing for food, 
sing for the Lord. <laughs> I can see. Thank the Lord. Woo! Now look. I know Antonius reminds y'all of somebody. Right, right, somebody. Right, right. Ooh, tell me over there. Tell me over there. Come on. Ooh, I'm Jose. Dave. Y'all some haters. Y'all some haters. Listen, he healed he people. That's what I mean. Let's okay. think about that for a moment. So now we got Jesus healing. Mm -hmm. And he said that healing not only is based upon the need of the individual, mm -hmm. But when there's a need for healing, Jesus proclaims to us, that's a time for God to show his power. Wow. Mm -hmm. So none of us want to get sick, but when we do, we call on the Lord for mm -hmm. healing. Yes. Right? None of us want to be in mountain or in valley situations. Mm -hmm. But when we're there, we look to the Lord and the Lord brings us out. So what we take from this is that uh, Jesus in, is in the healing business, but it's not just physical. He wants to heal our sick souls. He wants mm -hmm. to heal our internal being, our essence of who we are. Mm -hmm. And the only way he can do that is to let us know that it's not about me. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing the healing. Mm -hmm. I'm just the, the, the vehicle by which the healing is coming through. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. But this is an act of God. Can't and it's the power it. of God. So when we look at, when we look at Jesus' healing uh, uh, stories in the Bible, we have to see this is God at work yeah. in Jesus doing what God wants to do for us because he doesn't want, we're his children. Mm -hmm. And that's that if you get that, your life is going to be a lot better. Yeah. That God is our father mm -hmm. and he's our parent. Mm -hmm. And just like we care for ours, our children, he cares for us. Wow. Yeah. So sickness and, and worry, that's not a part of what God has desired for us. Mm -hmm. And we have Jesus to make that plain to us that healing is available to those who believe because here you go. He could have took the mud and he could have put it on his eyes, but he didn't have to go to the pool of Salon. Mm -hmm. He didn't have to follow him. Mm -hmm. A lot of us get in trouble. We hear Jesus, but we don't follow mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. yeah. and so if we follow here. him, right. if you follow watch. him, yeah, there's healing in his name. Wow. Well, let me hear from you. You know, uh, Allison, they say the choir room, you know, they have something. That is uh, still water right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Wow. He, don't, he don't really know what he says. No, he, 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 he don't know. He don't know. It's real for real. It's a complex version. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Quiet business, but uh, don't let her fool you. I'm only quiet when I need to be. Uh, All right. Uh, but you know what? When I'm with my friends, I know how to cut up. Okay. And that's who Jesus is to me. Wow. He's my, my friend. Hmm. My very best friend, hmm. who is always there. And when I'm talking to him, it's not like how my public prayers are. It's not always like that. You know, and, and think, Jesus had friends. He had Mary, Martha, Lazarus. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when mm -hmm. Jesus cried, when Lazarus died? Yeah, yeah. Even though he knew he was going to resurrect them? Mm -hmm. I mean, his words weren't always about preaching. Mm -hmm. Think about this. How about the wedding feast in Cana, where he turned the water to wine? Okay. Mm -hmm. There is no record in the Bible. All right now. Uh, there is no record. Okay. Thirsty. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Why not? <laughs> but think about it. Seriously, y'all. There is no record in the Bible that he was preaching. I mean, come on. How many wedding receptions do you know? That's like a church service. Yeah. Where there's no, you know what I mean? No, no entertainment. Yeah. yeah. No funny stories. Yeah. No music. Don't, don't invite no, me to that. No she, dancing. She ain't coming to that part. How about that? No yeah. dancing. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> what kind of party is that? Yeah, no party. <laughs> <laughs> well, you gotta have food. Gotta have food. Yeah, it's yeah. gotta be food. Gotta be food. But you know what? I can't with y'all. But you know what? When I think about Jesus going to their houses. I imagine it to be something like this. Picture it. Jesus coming down that long, dusty road on their way to the house, you know, after a week, maybe even just, just months of preaching and teaching and ministering to the crowds. Here he is coming down that road, headed to that small house, knowing that on the other side of that door is a home-cooked hot meal, but most importantly, 
the love of good friends to share with. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Food and You just heard food and mm. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> yeah. What a friend mm. we have. Okay? Yes, yeah, Amen. Yes, yeah. 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 That's the it. <laughs> <laughs> What a meal. I am so full. But, ugh. I hope everything was to your liking, Jesus. Martha, everything was amazing. Good, good. Now, this place is a mess. Let me, you know what? I'll, I think I'll start with the kitchen. I'll, there's <laughs> plenty of food to put away, so I'll put the food away. But, oh, but wait, maybe I should. Martha, you know oh, Martha, oh. Martha. Yes, Jesus. Have a seat. The dishes, the food, everything. It can wait. What's, this place is a mess. I need to. I need to get it cleaned up. I I, mean, I understand. I spent hours preparing for your arrival. Why must we always go through this? Have a seat. Okay. All right. Thank you. I know you see your brother and sister out there enjoying the cool breeze. Yes, I see them, but they should be in here helping me. I mean, Jesus, this house is not going to clean itself. And matter of fact, go tell them to come in and and, and help me. I know they'll listen to you. <laughs> I'm sure they will. But right now, let us talk. <sighs> I know everybody calls me a busybody, but I can't help myself. I like things to be clean and in their proper place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good to hear you laugh, Jesus. You know, you know what the Pharisees think? They think you don't laugh. Really? Yeah, that you have no joy. But we know different because we see you laugh all the time. Yeah. At least when you're eating our food anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, they were not there at that wedding years ago when I turned the water to wine. Clearly. <laughs> oh, man. I guess they were not invited. Perhaps. <laughs> But it's funny that you would say that. I think a lot of people feel that way, that I'm always serious because of my teachings. But, you know, my life was actually fairly normal all the way down to when I was working daily as a carpenter. Oh, Jesus, I love your carpenter <laughs> stories. You know, I think the Pharisees don't realize with all your teaching and preaching and ministering to the crowds that... You're a man, yeah. you know, and I'm sure that there's not one emotion that we have that you don't have. And you understand us. Yeah. That's what makes you so special, at least to me anyway. <laughs> Jesus, what's wrong? I was just thinking how... How great it is to have faithful friends that you love in your life. I was teaching my disciples that there's no greater love than a man that'll lay down his life for his friends. Indeed. It's almost time, Martha. Time? Time for what? Don't worry. For now, let us go catch up to Mary and Lazarus. I want to enjoy the sunset with my friends one more time. It is a beautiful sunset, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. Yo, Allison, that was a good idea. I'm glad you brought that story up because mm -hmm. me and Arthur are always talking about trying to. Mm -hmm. Put Jesus in a different light in, in these Easter plays. Yeah. Yeah. We do yeah. one. Friend, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. we use that. That's not Jesus. Jesus, 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 is, Jesus is a friend. friend. That's that's right. Right. Jesus, Jesus is, is my friend. Friend. And I think I think that's the problem too, because everybody always tries to put Jesus in a box. That's right. And they try to put Christians in a box and think they're only supposed to be one certain way. Wow. Yeah. So Jesus turns up tip. Okay, Jesus knew how to have a good time. Okay, I can be Christian, and I can be holy, and I can still have a good time. 
Amen. Yeah, you know, like something came out of this time. It's, I it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. So what did y'all learn? Let me help you out. I don't want to. I don't want to embarrass nobody. Mm. You mean them, not me. That's right. That's right. Uh, right. 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 So the question is asked, uh, who is Jesus to you? Mm-hmm. And there's many answers. It depends on your relationship to Jesus. Mm-hmm. To some, he's a deliverer. Mm-hmm. For some, he comes to them in times of need, in times of distress, mm-hmm. and he speaks to them and lets them know that it's going to be all right mm-hmm. and that God still loves you. To others, he's a healer. Yeah. People claim mm-hmm. and, and, and know his touch. And he's touched them in their lives, and they have been renewed and reborn as a result of their relationship with him. To others, he's a friend. And here's the good part about that. Jesus is always stopping by. You just have to know he's there. Mm -hmm. Too many times we miss Jesus' visit because we don't recognize his voice. Uh So we just need to know that he's always there for us. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, he's so good a friend. He, was, he did what he told us to do. He said, there is no greater love or love or a friend than one who would give his life right. for his brother. Right? Right. So not only is he a healer and a, a deliverer and, and, and a friend, uh, he's also a prophet, because that's what the disciples said. That's who they knew him was. But also he's the son of God as we know him. But most of all, when we think about who Jesus is, he's a redeemer. He's a friend that loved us so much that he went through the pain of the cross. He went through uh, uh, this life, all the ridicule and suffering that he had to go through for us, not yet born. And today we're the recipients of his love and his brotherly concern for us that he gave his life on Calvary that we would have life. Matter of fact, Jesus was so open to redemption and redeeming even in his last words. He looked at the brother to his right after the brother stood up and spoke on his behalf. And the brother said, when you get to your paradise, remember me? Yeah. And Jesus responded, today is your day. Right. And I see you on the other side. So what that means to us is that it's never too late. Yeah. And Jesus is always open and receptive yeah. to receiving us yeah. and to receiving God's grace in our lives. Mm-hmm. So if you get nothing else out of this today, Walk with that. Mm. It's never too late. And Jesus is a redeemer. Yeah. And he can bring life, breathe life into that which was dead. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. They had it coming. They, had, they all had it coming. Yeah, I killed them. Yeah. They had, that's why I'm here. What did you do? I said, your face, there's not even a mark on you. Who are you? Just a poor <sighs> kid. I didn't ask you. Yeah. I did what I did to you. He, away from my family. he came, all those people, they came to see him. They came to praise him. You have no mark on your face. He, they cry for him. They praise him. They weep for him. Who are you? You're nobody. You're right. They still think he's somebody. Just a sinner. Just a sinner. I will tell you. Well, I don't care. I don't care. He, are you some sort of, you some sort of disciple? I, I, huh? I could never be a disciple. Uh, I know about him. I grew up a good kid. But as I got older, I 
turn into a life of crime, stealing. And I've come to this point. You know, you complaining. You admit your sin. I admit my sin. But this man, he's done nothing. You deserve what you're getting. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. What's he gonna do? He can he can remember you. <laughs> he can't he can't free himself. He can remember you. <laughs> He, he, wait, wait, uh, you, you're the Messiah, free, free yourself, go ahead, what? no, free, free all of us, free, free me too. Man, you don't fear God, <laughs> can't you see, this is a man of God, and I say it again. Jesus, <sighs> remember me when you come into your kingdom. Truly, I say to you, today, you shall be with me in my Father's kingdom. They beat me. I knew y'all would get it if I put it like that. But what we must understand in this whole situation about Jesus is that Jesus is many things to all people. But the main thing he is, is he is truly a redeemer. And he gave his life for us that we might have life. If you get that, that's the essence of who Jesus was. It's the only reason he came is that we would be redeemed. Somebody ought to be shouting. Yeah. 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 I, 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 I gotta go back to work. It was nice, it was nice being with y'all, yeah. chipping and hearing the stories. But I think y'all on the right track. I'm about I'm about you, I got Bible study. I got to go to work. You know, in five minutes, I need to work. What do you want me to do? I got stuff to do, man. Love y'all. Talk to y'all later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow. See, y'all was talking about the man, too. He's not, he not that bad. You know, 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 Good. Well, mm. guys, I guess that is that, huh? Mm -hmm. Jesus and, is everything. And then like some. I said, everything and then some. And then yes. some. Well, I guess, you know what? That could be the next theme of our Easter play tag, if we have one. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus. Who is he to you? Uh, you know what, Tom? Maybe so. That's a, that's a good idea. You know, we do do the Easter play next year or this year. 
Next year, this year, whatever. The next one we do. How does that sound? Who is Jesus to you as a title? I like yeah, it. Well, I like it. Listen, Jesus. Who is he to you? As long as that Tony. Uh, I'll write that to Tony. All right. I'll, I'll put something here. Who is that Tony? Who is that Tony? Thank you all for coming. I appreciate it. Yeah. And um, I'll keep, I'll, I'll, I'll let y'all know if we do something this year. Oh, all right, bro. So I get yeah. that okay or whatever. Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Yes, please, bro. Right. Hi, child. Good to see y'all. Love you all. Thank you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Always well. Yeah. 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 Bye, Greg. Right. Bye. 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 Bye.